Good evening and welcome to evening prayer this evening. Apologies to any liturgists if I'm overdressed or the church is overdressed. I'm not entirely sure what you're allowed to do for evening prayer. As you may know if you were with us for Mass this morning. Uh, it's a great privilege to celebrate the anniversary of my ordination uh, today. Um, I'm 36 years and uh, three hours uh, old, well, I suppose. It was halfway through the ordination, so probably one and a half hours. And I wasn't sure, therefore, whether I was allowed to, to go into gold and to, to put gold around the church, but it is something that I just wanted to mark with great joy, to reflect on the great privilege and pleasure it has been uh, to, to minister uh, in the various parishes, which, uh, if you'll bear with me, I'd like to light a candle uh, later uh, in prayer. Amazing if we pause to reflect, I came to realize during the day just how many people I have reason to be grateful to, just how many blessings from God I've received, how many blessings, how many people I continue to be grateful to in this parish. We come perhaps with that sense of God's blessing giving us courage, and it's the example of Mary. Conscious of the blessings of God, she has the courage to live out her calling her vocation. As we come to give thanks to God for his great gifts, we pray that each of us may live out our vocation faithfully and as fully as we can. We pause and we quietly pray that Mary may inspire us. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O strength and stay upholding all creation, Whoever dost thyself unmoved abide. Yet day by day the light in due gradation from hour to hour in all its changes guide. Grant to life's day a calm, unclouded ending, an eve untouched by shadows of decay, the brightness of a holy deathbed blending with dawning glories of the eternal day. Hear us, O Father, gracious and forgiving, through Jesus Christ, thy co-eternal word, who with the Holy Ghost by all things living, now and to endless ages, art adored. The Lord surrounds his people. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, 
for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart, but the crooked and those who do evil drive them away. On Israel, peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord surrounds his people. Unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. A wean child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priest to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Do not let your love be a pretense, but sincerely prefer good to evil. Love each other as much as you should and have a profound respect for each other. Work for the Lord with untiring effort and with great earnestness of spirit. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up if trials come and keep on praying. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. God has established his people in hope. Nothing can break the confidence of those who love him. Let us proclaim. 
We give you thanks, Lord God, for you have made us rich in all wisdom and insight. Lord God, you know the hearts of all rulers. May they work for the good of the people they govern. Lord, you empower mankind to glorify this world with art. Make our work live with vision and true hope. You do not allow us to be tempted beyond our limits. Strengthen the weak, raise up the fallen. Father, you have promised to share in your son's resurrection on the last day. Remember those who have gone before us on the path to eternal life. First, I wanted to offer personal prayers of thanksgiving to my family, including Pete and Megs, to the friends who've supported over the years, to the people of the parish of Egham, parish of Catrum, of Crawley. of Chichester and of the cathedral. And those who worked in Dabchek and who now work in the Philip Howard Centre. Kitty asks that you might pray for the repose of the soul of her son, Gerard Grant, on the anniversary of his death. Sonia asks that we might pray for the repose of the soul of Sergio Rodriguez on the fourth month uh, of his death. May he rest in peace and may he, God continue to comfort his family. Jocelyn asks that we might pray Continue to pray for Father Thomas's health. And she and Bernadette kindly include my own anniversary. Kevin asks that we might uh, pray for Josie, the mother of his friend Simon. Uh, Josie's health has been poor for a long time and is now deteriorating. He asks that God may be close to her and to the family. Sandy and Ian ask that we might, sorry, I ought to say uh, Deacon Ian, ask that we might wish Bernie a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bernie. Annette asks that we might pray for her mother, Annie, who is very ill. Bernadette also asks that we might pray for Erin's successful um, results, offering thanks to God. Elizabeth asks we might pray for one of their closest friends to repose the soul of Andrew Martin, whose first anniversary it is today, and remembering too Maureen, the children, and the grandchildren. And we pray for all those living and dead to whom we have promised our intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Let our evening prayer rise up before your throne of mercy, Lord, and let your blessing come down upon us, so that now and forever your grace may help and save us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Sorry, I shouldn't smile, but it, it's just dawned on me. I knew I had a candle over. I couldn't work out which parish I hadn't prayed for. It is, of course, Guildford. I do apologise. And indeed, by extension, those on the live stream. Um, it's a reflection of what I was saying earlier, how easy it is to take things for granted at the time. I apologise. keep you very much in my prayers this evening with gratitude for all that you do. Gratitude too uh, to Nick for all that he does, particularly his help earlier this afternoon. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Carmanus, Exules Filii Eve, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et Flentes, in hac laquimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loculos, ad nos convete. Et Jesum, Benedictum fruntum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O Vigo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 